What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock. So guys, this thing as you know from last couple of days has been at least in the technicals rebounding and I have been talking about and I'm guys as I'm talking I'm adjusting something on my indicator. If you need access to my tools links in the description below. Anyways, so and this thing has been gapping sorry rebounding in the technicals and $824 level is what we were talking about yesterday that if we close above it in the post market yesterday we did go above it due to tax uh, due to Texas instruments earnings coming out and uh, it went up so did Nvidia and other semiconductors in the post market. Now what we talked about yesterday was and this is the red line that is coming up from there that is the $835. So what we talked about is that Yes, bulls have been pushing through that change of structure. We are not fully bullish though, but yes, bulls are coming back with reinforcement and we do have to take them into account because, well, the price is above 824 now, which was the break of the distribution phase bottom, almost the range and then to the downside. But why? We are, we, were not, we are not still fully in the bull's camp is because we are below still 20 days and 50 days moving average. So it's not that bulls have taken fully over. No, this is still a downtrend and a rebound. Yes, it's a stronger rebound, but this rebound as of yet hasn't on the swing side changed any structure. So, but it's the start. As we talked about that 824, we do have to start talking about bulls and we do have to give them a benefit here. So at this point, we are at least 35 to 40% in the bullish territory and remaining um, whatever that would be, 65% almost, we are still in the bear territory. So also, well, today we are seeing some sell-off at the moment, but if I take you to the hourly interval, where are we trying to find support? $824 level. Where did we try to find a resistance yesterday? $824 level. So this is a very pivotal uh, place. If we close below $824, then expect this thing to change its course again because we will be losing. So this intraday has been an uptrend, right? And if we lose $824 level, it's again, either this could make a head and shoulder here, or then that is again going back into the downtrend. So today, for today, the level to closely watch is $824 level. I'm going to uh, get rid of this red line. And also why I say that we are not fully bullish. So I just showed you that on 20 and 50 days moving average. Oh, sorry, on daily interval, we are below 20 and 50 days moving average. And on hourly interval, we are also below 200 hours moving average. So far, yes, this rebound has been great. Now let's see if this rebound can turn into bullish thing. So $824 level is your way, watching very clear, carefully because this is where you had the latest, trying to form a demand zone here, right? But it failed back then. So it all comes down to $824 level today. Let's go to the five minutes interval. And clearly here you can also see that today, it's a little bit weaker, but as you can see, 824 is where it found resistance yesterday. And today it's trying to find support here, 824. So if today, even let's say during the regular market hours, if Nvidia gets above 834 again, yeah, this thing guys can continue higher. And if we continue to lose lower by lower level, pretty much if we close below 824 today, then Tomorrow you are again looking continuation to the downside and this rebound would be concluded as over. Otherwise, uh, anything above 824 going in tomorrow, we still have to take it as uh, bulls are still present. They are trying to push through the territory that bears have gained. And then we will see how the price action evolves from thereafter. Okay, so $824 is the level to watch. All right. Um, let's go back to the daily interval and what I want to do is well uh, one thing I want to actually on four hours is um, you can sort of follow this uh, trend line again it's not a perfect trend line but 
it's right now rejecting at that trend line, right? These are the pivots um, over here, right? But I, I, I just want to work with the levels and, you know, I already talked about that. But yeah, this is something if you're a trend line person, you can follow this trend line here as well. All right, guys, well, let's take a look at, so, well, Tesla, I'll do another video, but I just want to quickly show you that this thing gapped up good, uh, but then a little bit red, it's not, I really wanted to close above 20 days moving average today. Let's see if it can do it. Right now, it's in the sell off pressure again. Um, so, but yeah, after earnings, good gap up. Yeah, so uh, let's see, it all comes down to today, how the candle would be, that all defines it. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. QQQ. So, yeah, same story just like NVIDIA and we are, I would still say we are just rebounding in the downtrend and anything to any of these levels, let's say uh, 433, as long as we're below it, we are not bullish. This is just a rebound. Now we have to see how this rebound works, right? When I say rebound, how it works. So, I mean, on hourly interval, Let's take a look at that. So all it comes down to on hourly interval, if it's going to lose any pivots to the downside, most importantly, if it's going to lose 425, then it will again continue lower. If it wanna form a higher leg up, it has to turn around and pivot not lower than 421, but any pivot up like here will be an upside game on this. On QQ, you can also try to follow this trend line for any pivot. It's a quite a strong one, but you can just follow 20 hours moving average, simple, easy peasy, right? So let's do that. Spy. Spy is already in the slot, little bit of a sell off mode. You can see that uh, we are rejecting, we are just underneath of that 200 hours moving average. And again, this is also in the rebound structure. And I said that as anything below 20 and 50 is still just a rebound in my books. And, you know, I expect this thing to continue lower. Now, if SPY wants to make a higher low here, what level would that be? So let's go to the hourly interval. And if SPY wants to uh, be stay bullish here, then it shouldn't go much, it should not go at this point much lower than 503. It should stay above that and try to make a pivot there, or even if it makes pivot at 501. But if once we crack lower this, then again, this is just the rebound is over, there's no pivot and then we'll at least get to next leg down again to 493 all right cool guys that's all for this video and for the morning update and i'll be doing other videos as usual so please hit the like and subscribe and with that i'll see my next videos take care guys bye